So we're back with our old friend, Arctangent, which we had seen before that we have the graph of tan and that Arctan is what happens when we alternate the x and the y, or when we invert over the line y equals x, at least for this restricted domain between minus pi over 2 and plus pi over 2. So then the question is, if I've got arctan or any of the other arc trigonometric functions, what are their derivatives? And what we can do is we can use implicit differentiation to answer these questions. So I want to remind you that the definition of saying that y was arctangent of x, what that meant was I could invert it the other way around, is that I could come and take a tan of y and get a tan of my arctangent, and because they were an inverse functions, the sort of tan and arctan, they undo each other, and you just get back with whatever the inside was. So y is arctangent of x is the same thing as that tangent of y is just equal to x. So why don't I come along and take the derivative with respect to x of both sides? That is, I'm, I can take the derivative with respect to x of tangent of y and the derivative with respect to x just of x, nor ignoring now this, this middle term. Notice that we're going to be doing implicit differentiation. y here is some function of x, and so I'm going to try to take its derivative implicitly. This is a composition, indeed, tangent of y, if y is a function of x, this is an outside function tan and an inside function y of x, so I'm going to use the chain rule. And what I get from that is that the derivative of tan is secant squared, and then I'm going to multiply by the derivative of the inside function with my chain rule. And the derivative of the inside function is y, so it's dy dx. And on the right-hand side, the derivative with respect to x of x is just 1. Shocking. So we've got some relationship. Next step, I want to go and I want to isolate the dy dx. So I'm going to divide out here and say that dy dx is 1 over secant squared of y. Now, this answer that I have down here, the derivative is 1 over secant squared of y, is OK. But if I think about what I really want when I'm taking the derivative of an explicit function, I say this is some function of x, and its derivative should be some other function of x. What I've gotten is taken derivative with respect to x, and I've got some function of y. It's 1 over secant squared of y. But I really want to have this back as being with respect to x. And I'm going to show you some tricks of a nice way to solve this in terms of x. So let me keep that formula. And I'm going to remind you about a couple of different trigonometric identities, the Pythagorean identities. And they look like this. The main one I would memorize is this top one, sine squared plus cos squared is equal to 1. The reason why I say that's the important one to memorize is that the other two, I can get those from sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. Indeed, take this formula, divide them both by cosine squared. Sine squared divided by cos squared is tan squared. Cos squared divided by cos squared is 1. And 1 divided by cos squared is secant squared. So indeed, this is just dividing out by cos squared. Likewise, for this bottom one, I divide the sine squared plus cos squared equal to 1 by sine squared. Sine squared over sine squared is 1. Cos squared over sine squared is cotangent. And 1 divided by sine squared is cosecant squared. So we need to know all three of these Pythagorean identities, but I typically just memorize the first one and deduce the other two. However you like to do it is fine by me. Nonetheless, for the purposes of what we're doing here, 1 over secant squared, uh, there's a secant squared. It looks like it's tan squared plus 1. So I'm going to replace 1 over secant squared by 1 over tan squared plus 1. Now, the reason why I did this, the reason why I wanted it to be back in terms of tangent, is that we know about the relationship between x and tangent of y. Indeed, our defining property was y was arctan of x, which is the same thing as x is tangent of y. So in other words, this tangent of y that I have is just x. So I can say that this is 1 over x squared plus 1. And indeed, this is the final answer. This is the derivative of arctangent. It is a function of x, 1 over x squared plus 1. And then, very final step, reminding ourselves that the y here, what was y? y was arctangent of x. I get my final formula, which is the derivative of arctangent of x, 1 over x squared plus 1, some function of x. The process that we've used to figure out the derivative of arctangent, you can take the same basic process and figure out the derivatives of all the different ones, arc cosine, arc sine, arc cotangent, whatever you like.